हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे मे बी यू कैन स्टैंड अप रेज योर हैंड एंड चैंट वन महामंत्र हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे प्लीज सिट डाउन so we have come to the holy place of uh, himalayas we come to the himalaya holy place where the main existence is mother ganga and himalayas right the prominent existence rest are there are many existences are there and uh, so mother ganga is a prominent presence here well when she was told to come down she was not so willing to come down Because you know, there are uh, there are lessons in every step. Probably. Lord is telling you go down. She is saying no, I don't want to go. What is the lesson in this? Are niche people? Everybody is birth, uh, taking birth and dying and getting old and diseased and all are filled with sins. Why should we go there? I don't want to go there. First reason: he, you like to go to jail. You want to visit? No, Baba. I don't want to go. All criminals are there. Why should I go among them? वैसे ही feeling यहाँ पर भगवान के धाम के लोग और देवताओं के मन में रहती है कि ये लोग जो रहते हैं इधर इधर कौन जाएगा? And we are being completely living here, trying to fight happiness, trying to adjust ourselves and somehow live, seek happiness. Huh? And second thing she said कि अरे when I go flow as a river, the first thing they will do is take bath in me. And try to deposit our their sins in me and contaminate me. I'm not a fool to go there and get contaminated. Just go there and be up on gallery. Me, standing, oh, holy, is going. The road to go means a burden. The road to go means you are going to kill me. Why do I go there? I don't want to play holy. Two reasons are there. So God has also told them. Don't worry. When sinful people will take bath in you and drop their sins. Saintly people also will take their bath in you and nullify your contamination. Kitna bada Bhagwan, kitne achhe hai. You cannot imagine how Lord is so merciful actually. Because achhaay ka koi limit nahi. Wo har kaam mein aapko ek positive thought dete hai. Don't worry, just do it nicely. So this is one level of understanding. Ganga ji accepted to come down. Now every time. when anything happens in spiritual life there is a spiritual understanding of that and there is a modus operandi of that ko kaise hua actually ko kehte hain laukik laukik matlab ek material level pe ek understanding hota hai jaise jamna ji aayi lekin laukik tarike se kaise aayi surya dev aur chhaya ki putri ke roop mein spiritually kaise aayi wahan se nikli 1000 payo golden chariot pe baith ke aise aise se aayi se utar gayi लेकिन और एक स्टोरी भी है ना उसका कि सूर्य देव की और छाया देवी की शादी हुई फिर वो डर डर के गई तेज देख के यमराज का जन्म हुआ ऑफ यमराज मटेरियल लौकिक एंड पार लौकिक मतलब भगवान ने भेजा था उसको आ जाओ अपना ड्यूटी करने के लिए तो गंगा जी कैसे आई एक रीजन ये हो गया गंगा जी कैसे आई कि सगर राजा थे उसको सौ साठ पुत्र थे Don't ask me how one can produce sixty thousand children. Shrimad <laughs> Bhagavatam, ये एक speciality है. Don't use your brain while you are hearing Shrimad Bhagavatam. So this is the order of saintly people. Shrimad Bhagavatam is not to be understood with tarka buddhi and logic. Keep your logic at home. Use all your logic to understand Bhagavad Gita. All logic can be used to understand Bhagavad Gita nicely. But not Bhagavatam, especially not Krishna Lila. Okay, so um, the context is different here. We don't imagine how can one person get sixty thousand children. So we are not in that era. Era here, one children also, one child also to produce one child is so much difficulty in Bihar. Kya kya PCOD, kya kya IVF, IU, kya kya karte rehte. Then one child doesn't get. So in the zamana of having difficulty having one child, how do you can imagine also to have sixty thousand children? Anyway, he had. They were all kings' children. 
you know, bade baap ke bade bete bigde hote hain hamesha. So they they just made fun with Sadhu. So another lesson is, don't have any mischief with Sadhus. Never ever do any mischief, even in dreams with Sadhus. जहाँ जहाँ जिन जिन लोगों ने साधु के साथ मिस्टिफ किया है लोकल लैंग्वेज में क्या है वाट लगाए उनका दे आर बी डिस्ट्रॉयड यू डोंट टेक देम फॉर ग्रांटेड दे मे बी लुकिंग फील यू नो कम्प्लीटली एम्पावरिस्ड विद नो मनी नो प्रोविजन नो पोजिशन नो पावर बट दे आर एक्सट्रीमली पावरफुल डोंट शो देर पावर एट टाइम्स दे शो वेन इट रिक्वायर्ड तो उन्होंने सब मिस्टिफ किया उनके साथ में तो उनको लग रही है बड़े बाप के बेटे हैं इनको अगर पनिशमेंट नहीं दिया तो बाकी लोग भी यही करेंगे इनको ही फॉलो करेंगे तो उनको ना ऐसा मंत्र बोला कि वो सब जल के राख हो गए फिनिश्ड यू थिंक यू आर किंग सन सिक्सटी थाउजेंड इन नंबर व्हाट पुअर साधु कैन डू फॉर अस अरे एक सेकंड के अंदर सबको जला दिया उसने बस पत्र दिया उसका नाम याद नहीं आ रहा है मुझे कपिल मुनि कपिल मुनि कपिल मुनि ही इज नॉट कपिल देव is a kapil muni sankhya shastri hmm? is a different is a different kapil muni and he was not attached to that are 60000 log jal gaye abhi mai mantra bola jala diya wapas dhyan mein rakhe matlab as a as a matter of fact there is no attachment to this way that way so the needful get out of it finish and then sagar raja was bothered we go how we deliver them unka udhar kaise karenge unhone apna koshish kiya no success he died his son another son dilip this is all surya vansha huh, by the way all there are two vansha only in the world surya vansha chandra vansha krishna came in chandra vansha radha rani ramchandra all came in raghu vansha matlab uh, surya vansha so next son was dilip dilip spent his whole life now sadhus immediately na another thing whenever you undergo calamity what does a devotee do he approaches sadhu or guru take advice koi kisi ke sath not go to tom dick and harry to ask you know put your problems to many places and see what is the favorable answer no they go to one source and they get answer pleasant unpleasant likeable not likeable but they follow that hum log kya karte na we go to four counselors who gives us favorable counsel It is easy to follow. Shopping करते हैं उसमें मॉल में जाते हैं उसके लिए। हाँ? हाँ, डॉक्टर शॉपिंग करते हैं, कॉन्सर्ट शॉपिंग करते हैं। हर जगह people want something which is suitable for them. No, okay. So uh, Sadhu had told that only only one solution is there. If Mother Ganga descends from higher realms and flows over this ash, then they will be delivered. So Sagar tried. His son Dilip tried, and Shuman also came and tried. Funny, imagine, full life they tried. I mean, they are supposed to be kings, na? So, you will say that they did not do any work. Only this work. But it also says that delivering your ancestors is one of the important business of human life. Do not, by the way, go to the temple. If you go to the temple, you will not do it. If you do not do it, you will not do it. It is not like that. We are all bound by duties. We cannot say that it is done. It is so important that one person spend whole life, second person also spend whole life, no success. And even as a responsibility, the third person, third generation, Bhagirath came, and he also tried his best. And whenever there is uh, need of glorifying effort, we always say Bhagirath prayatna. The efforts done like Bhagirath is like a standard of prayatna. Nobody can match efforts like Bhagirath has done. So Bhagirath finally pleased Mother Ganga. She appeared to him, and she said, "What do you want?" He said, "My ancestors, three generations before, are ash there, not delivered yet. Please come and flow." So primarily she said, "Yes." In principle, no problem. But the one difficulty is there. I have tremendous high speed, tremendous high speed. You think you are calling me on Earth? The Earth will be like football; it will be swept away. Oh, Prithvi, where will you go? And your ancestors' ashes will be there. I don't know. You have to take me there. So you have to find somebody who can control my speed. Contain me. 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 Contain me.
So he said, you only tell now who can, you only will know who can contain your spirit. He said, yes, only Lord Shiva can contain your spirit. He said, my promise is there. You convince Lord Shiva and if he agrees, then I will, I will come. So now it's part one. It's not difficult. It's not difficult. It's not part one. It's not part one. So in part two, pe gaya. Lord Shiva, to please Lord Shiva. So that's a good thing. बेचारे वो आशुतोष हैं, वो जल्दी प्लीज हो जाते हैं। इट्स नॉट टफ, तो यू गोट प्लीज्ड, बट इट वाज तपस्या वाज नॉट टफ, स्टिल, बट कंपैरेटिवली इट्स नॉट लाइक गंगा, इट वाज इजीर, तो लॉर्ड शिवा गोट प्लीज्ड एंड ही सेड यस, व्हाट डू यू वांट? ही सेड फादर गंगा इज गोइंग टू फ्लो, she was greatly proud about her speed. Or she was a pure devotee, no? Vaishnavana Yatha Shambhu. He is the topmost of all Vaishnavas. Great devotee of the Lord. Although a special demigod, Mahadev. So, what he did, he spread his jata at somewhere, somewhere in between Gomuk and Gangotri. Geographically, he spread his jata and he said, come. So she came. So he trapped her. So there are two reactions that she gave. One thing is that hey, I was supposed to be contained and released. I am trapped in the place. So a miserable reaction, you can say. Something like, you know, not very happy reaction. Okay? The happy reaction was, I'm so fortunate to have association with Lord Shiva. One who gets very rarely associated with a pure devotee. Durlabha manava janama. Satsangi Taroho E Bhava Sindhure. So rare to get an association of person like Lord Shiva. So I'm happy. Let Madhvaji, let's see what he has to do. So then uh, again, Madhvaji prayed to the Lord. To my Lord, Lord Shiva, please, you release her. So that my ancestors are, primary cause of coming was to this. So then Shiva released her. That's why you get the death. Stream you get from Shiva's head. <laughs> like very decorative. Here, Chandra Kori is there, and there, very beautiful stream is there. And it's also quite high speed. It looks very pleasantly small stream. So then, now, Bhajira said that I will go in my chariot ahead, and you have to come behind me. Your water should come behind me. And I will lead you to the place where it happened. So, Gomuk say she came. Now, all you should know, I mean, Yatra point of view, that after Gomu, only Ganga is visible to the human eye. She is there. Coming from all the way from Golok Vrindavan, then Brahmanda, the Brahma Loka, Janna Loka, Tapa Loka, Siddha Loka, Swarga Loka, Karke, Niche Arayu. But till Gomu, Gomu, she is not visible to human eye. Although she is traveling, but she comes to visible to you only after Gomu. And then she's flowing, you can see the speed, the way she is, my God, you just cannot imagine even to stand there with your ankle in the water. With your ankle, she'll push you down and no, no, no bodyguards and nobody can save you. Only you have to watch and say, thank you, Hare Krishna Mahamantra, and go back to Godhead. Krishna Mati Rastu, that's all. <laughs> so she's flowing now, Gomo to Gangotri and down. On the way, we'll show you one place. It's called Jahangla. Jahangla. The place where Janu Muni is doing tapasya. This is his worship. Janu. Janu Muni. So Ganga Ji, phir bhi apne mood mein hai. Kare, kam hua toh kya hai bhi bhot badiya speed hai. So she just swept his ashram away. Kamandalu away, ashram away. He was in deep meditation. Suddenly, sorry, what's happening? So he opened his eyes. See, you cannot take sadhu for granted. Cannot... Do any mischief with sadhus, whether you are Ganga, whether you are son of kings, or whether you are any Gunda, don't play with sadhus ever. Respect them, forget about doing mischief. But she still did that. She could have controlled herself, but she did that. Janamuni opened his eyes and drank her fully, gulped her. Agastimini also had gulped the ocean one time in one sip. These are great souls, they are not only people, even taking their name is so purifying. When I say Janu Muni in my talk also is so purifying. When you are hearing it, it's also so purifying. Now part three tapasya. Suddenly you saw, sound is stopped, what happened? 
no more ganga behind where she went so janu muni so he told so this is what happened so he sat for worshiping janu muni you know pehle aapko story batana padta hai create some emotion and then prayer you know how you get something from somebody you have to create nice ground and you know make it favorable sab kuch kiya wapas ek baar see you can imagine how many times one can do the same thing ganga ji ko bhi wahi samjhaya lord shiv ji ko bhi samjhaya ki janu mane ko samjhana pad raha hai how much patience how much compassion how much love for ancestors he has same thing is repeating again and again kaisa hai na till the result is achieved this person is at working hard he is not giving up finally janumuti also janumuni also understood ki okay i should so he released her from his ear so akshay tritiya day this year 3rd may she appeared at gomukh ganga ji avataran divas local language mein ganga ji ka birthday 3rd okay in between she was trapped but on saptami day there is called ganga saptami or janu saptami this was on 8th of may this year she was released by janu muni so it's celebrated here in the mountains ganga saptami we call it a janu saptami people here call it ganga saptami and they celebrate with math and festivities are there and on 10th day which was the day saptami tritiya saptami on 10th day it ganga ji reached haridwar and that is celebrated as ganga dashera and all the three days i was here akshay tritiya ganga saptami and ganga dashera and then after that he took ganga ji to the place where the ashes were there she flew flew over that i mean flown over that and then all of them were delivered इसलिए उस प्रयास को भगीरथ प्रयास कहते हैं भगीरथ प्रयास एंड दैट इज वाई दंगा इज कॉल्ड भागीरथी गंगा ऑल्सो मीनिंग मीनिंग गंगा वॉज सो प्लीज विद दिटरमाइंड शी ब्लेस्ट हिम दैट आई विल बी नोन यूर एज योर नेम आई बाई योर नेम भागीरथी गंगा कृष्णा ऑल्सो ब्लेस्ट हर वन इज ही सेड ही सेड दैट साधुज विल टेक बात इन यू and you will be released of the sins what you are accumulating accumulating at the same time whatever span you you flow she flows about 2500 kilometers approximately krishna trying to convince her to go down at that time so he said wherever you will flow your banks will be known as tirtha all throughout all throughout 2500 kilometers or more less whatever it is till you meet the ocean every spot every speck every atom will be tirtha and whoever resides there whoever takes bath in you will all will be blessed people so staying at the bank of ganga is quite a blessed event life can say yeah another name is janavi so this is the story of ganga and then you should all know that staying in the vicinity of ganga is the most powerful thing in life like staying in the vicinity of jamuna one needs blessings for that It doesn't happen automatically by chance there has to be enough punya to come like she was going to come with two of her sons now two more also joined so there's a punya that's why you could join otherwise you know in one family two are coming one not it's like maybe tomorrow they will come maybe other times they come but आज पहुंचे हैं तो ये पुण्य आज फलित हो गया एयर ऑफ गंगा वाइल स्टेर इज ऑल्सो प्यूरिफाइंग पावरफुली तो उसके लिए क्या करना चाहिए यू टू बी अवेयर यू टू बी कॉग्निजेंट यू टू बी अलर्ट टू द फैक्ट दैट यू आर स्टेइंग इन द बैंक ऑफ गंगा सम पीपल यू विल फाइंड ऑन द रॉक समटाइम्स लिकर बॉटल्स ब्रोकन लिकर बॉटल्स अराउंड ऑल You see everywhere. You see, I go to Chang, na. No? I see. So what a misfortune! No? You can drink alcohol in Dehradun also, or maybe Delhi also. But you do that in the bank of Ganga. That means you are ruining yourself. One pap, you do one place, then it will be one parinam. 
दूसरी जगह करोगे तो उसका हजारों गुना परिणाम होगा सेम पाप तो मूर्ख आदमी होगा वो जो यहाँ आकर वो पाप करेगा so god is very merciful god is always giving you opportunities but we ourselves by our own desire destroy those opportunities and destroy ourselves also that is why sadhu sang is important in life the sadhu sang will teach you what to do and what not to do however great you may be however great learned and city man and whatever you may be the sadhu will only will teach you what is good for you and what is to be done and what is not to be done what is bad for you and human life is meant to learn na what is good for you and what is not good for you which other life you learn what is good for you what is not good for you as i now the third subject i will tell you third subject is communication कम्युनिकेशन के लिए वी हैव वाचा सो मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ कम्युनिकेशन आर आल्सो ऑन व्हाट्सएप एंड सर सेटल ओके सो कम्युनिकेशन आर ऑफ फोर टाइप्स वन इज कॉल्ड एज वाइकरी इट इज लाउड लाइक आई स्पीक टू यू माता जी कम फॉर ब्रेकफास्ट राइट दैट इज वर्बल कम्युनिकेशन लाउड कम्युनिकेशन देन सेकंड इज मध्यमा or in gaudiya gaudiya philosophy it is called as upamsha 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 means soft like when newly married husband and wife are sitting together in the train in front of you they are constantly speaking but not a word is able to be heard by you have you experienced that sometimes newly wedded with yahan se yahan se bangle bhare hue aise sat ekdam pass mein baith ke aise baatein karte hain ki to the next passenger cannot hear so soft the communication but full communication is there it is said more the love softer the communication more the difference of opinion louder the communication you are sitting next to me but you are shouting so you are asking why are you shouting i am not deaf person but you shout because there is a distance not in physical condition distance in the heart so voice becomes louder when distance in the heart is there and when there is love Little volume de- decibel is enough to communicate your whatever you want to communicate. So pausha is that soft communication is called in yogic language madhyama. In uh, Gauri sampraday language is called pausha. Okay, Rupa Goswami also gives that. Sanatan Goswami, Rupa Goswami gives that definition. Third is para subtler than that, and fourth is paschanti, the more subtle. हम लोग क्या सोचते हैं कि हम लोग इतने ह्यूमन बींग्स है वर्ल्ड कोई कंगड़ा बोलता है कोई तेलुगु बोलता है कोई कौन सा बेंगोली बोलता है कोई हिब्रू बोलता है कोई गौर आदिवासी भाषा बोलता है एवरीबॉडी हैज ओन लैंग्वेज यू फील कि वी आर सो प्रोफिशिएंट इन आई मीन सो मेनी वैरायटीज ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन एंड यू आर प्राउड बिकॉज़ यू नो सेवन लैंग्वेजेस सी इज प्राउड बिकॉज़ यू नो 10 लैंग्वेजेस दिस इज आवर थिंकिंग एंड वी थिंक दिस इज द ओनली कम्युनिकेशन व्हाट डू यू थिंक द बर्ड्स आर डूइंग इन द मॉर्निंग आर नॉट कम्युनिकेटिंग हाउ डज अ हाउ डज अ बेबी ऑफ अ हेन चिकन कम टू नो कि द काइट इज कमिंग इन गोइंग टू पिक हर अप how does uh, how does the chicken no tell me she just born somebody is teaching her na how does the goat know how does the deer know the tiger is coming and we should run to save life death is coming in the form of lion everybody is training everybody not only you are training your children everybody is training everybody here and there has to be a communication method to train na it is not that you only know that's only way of communication so that is called a subtle communication you go to a cow immediately cow is out comes to know she are going to harm her she is going to do immediately shaking of her but immediately if she knows you are going to love her scratch her she is going to take her next to you what is transpired between you and the cow and how does the cow understand if she is humble to me or she is going to be pleasing me this is communication na that is subtle communication and the highest communication with the lord is pashanti that is 
from your heart to the Lord's heart. Then you become realized when the Lord communicates with you. Like how Lord communicates to Brahma. Tene Brahma Rudaya Adi Kavaye. Yes. Um, Tene Brahma Rudaya Adi Kavaye. Muryanti Yat Suraya. The Lord is giving a message in the heart of uh, Brahma. Tene Brahma Rudaya. And that message is decoded by Brahma for demigods. And then that is spelled out to you and me in the form of scripture. But the message is a subtle language. It's called decoding Jaruri Pardaya. Brahma only can decode for demigods. And then somebody will write for you and the scripture will come down. So when we become realized that we are on that level of communication with the Lord directly, that's a pure devotee. He gets direct realization from the heart. Brahma got that realization, uh, communication. Kaise manna Brahma took birth and it was all dark. And poor little Brahma took birth. So he was wondering, why am I here? Who am I? Why am I born? What is the purpose of my life? What is my duty? Nothing in you. I was wondering and searching. So his only personality, the Lord has given direct realization in the heart of Brahma of all the knowledge. So one is knowledge. Second is application of knowledge. And third is realization of knowledge. Knowledge is not only what you hear. You hear and you forget. And you're not interested. That's one thing. Second thing, you hear and you practice what you hear. Maybe partially, fully, whatever. And third is after practicing what you heard, you realize something. Which is your closest gain actually. What is your final yield is what you have realized. Not what you have heard and what you are practicing. So when you may be practicing mechanically, you don't know anything what's happening in life. But when you hear it attentively, practice sincerely, and you get realization, that is your treasure of life. That is you, actually. It's at you, your level it is achieved. Not on ear level or brain level. It has gone to the heart in the form of realization. Okay? So Brahma is the only personality who has received that communication from the Lord. Straight what is it? Sunne ka, practice karne ka, phir realize karne ka, asa kuch nahi hai, seed ka realization. Hum loko sunke, practice karke, realize karna pata, mehnat karne ka. So that communication can happen to you and me also, once you become pure devotee. So why I told all this to you? Because Himalaya is that subtle place where if you are tuned with the consciousness here, you will also get messages. From Ganga, from Himalayas. It's a fact, huh? I'm not telling you anything theoretically. You sit there and you meditate on the sound of Ganga, you will learn so many things. So many things. Every day she will speak to you if you are listening. Okay, then sometime you take photographs and you try to capture the beauty. It's all right, it's not sinful. But after some time, you will drop that and meditate, you know, concentrate and connect. Only then you will get the message. Otherwise, you have come, you have eaten, you have taken photograph, you have taken group a selfie, will be there. What a chavara, what a chavara, itna na, itna cha temperature tha, itni achi hawa di. It's all right only, it's not wrong. But you have not got the essence which you are supposed to get, you deserve, which is because you have come here. So for that, you have to, like tortoise, now you have to withdraw and be within. So, the nature will communicate to you. It's all a divine communication. They are not something, you don't get the message that, okay, that one is waiting for you to give a business deal for you. No, something doesn't occur to you that way. You go immediately to Mumbai and meet that person, he'll give you 10 crore ka business. That message you don't get here. Why they would be? Because Devas lives here. Also in subtle forms, all the devas are living over here because they like to live here. That kind of divinity is there in this life. That's why it's called Devumi. Because devas live here, devas assistants live here, ganas live here, all kinds of Brahma Devata, all are assistants, they all, all live here. And their presence is felt by people who are realized. And they also communicate to the realized souls. On 22nd, why will I take you to the mountain for picnic? Then I will tell you the Devata there, how he communicates. And I witness everything. I am not talking about hearsay things. I have seen how the Devata is activated and then he communicates what you ask. 
and there are people only some people are there who know the language and the sanketik lakshanik bhasha sanket se aur lakshan se wo samajh jate hain kya bolna hai unko and ramya logon ke liye ramya devta is the final authority so krishna vishnu bahut aage hai uske the first and final authority is ramya devta usko hi milte hain usko hi nivedan dete hain wahi se answer milta hai so we ordinary jagah nahi hai only i want to convey to you that and how you focus and grasp is all up to you nobody can spoon feed you we can orient you the final call is yours what do you do you can spend some time in taking selfies and everything photographs fine i also take thousands of pictures to sunrise sunset everything but the main purpose is to focus within and to connect when you connect na every day ganga will speak to you every day himalaya will speak to you and give you message okay any questions on this different ways of communication <laughs> this place is very divine place and all that you deserve in human life by becoming human being can be fulfilled by coming here and this is the only place when go to vrindavan also puri also but every place has got different bhav and you have to connect with that bhav it just cannot you know mechanically go to vrindavan and you know nahi hota hai you have to have right company right mood right preparation that that bhav will speak to you vrindavan will speak to you then puri will speak to you is like if i come to your house and i go to her house i behave differently because you have different aura different things in your house she has different things in your house you have different things in your house so i don't go in every house in the same mood the level of relationship is different your aura is different your things are different you are different i am different so like that when you are so much different in going to each other's houses how do you how are you not different if you go to badrinath and gangotri and vrindavan and puri you have to be different na you have to be very personal about it you cannot be mechanical about it because everything is a person even though it is a dham it is a person vrindavan is a person but jagannath puri is a person navadvip is a person all the persons are connecting with you and you have to understand their mood and their bhav like that If I go to your house, and if I go to Nita Bani's house, is it going to be same? No. My relations with her maybe may not be there. My relation with you is there. So things are different. It's like that. So you may say you come over and stay over only here only two days. You stay three three days. Pogan is there. Nita Bani may be putting me at the doorstep only. I don't know. Why? It's not sinful from our part. It's all based on relationships. you have relationship you will get response you come to uh, this place and you develop relationship you will get response you go to vrindavan you have relationship you will get response each dham will respond to you so you have to understand the bhav of this place and connect to that bhav then you get response then your trip is successful any question on this should end now the time is getting up हरे कृष्णा जय श्री राधे श्याम